Zach Terrell. He's a middle school humanities teacher at the Geneva School of Manhattan. Zach specializes in English and logic and believes the hardest part about teaching is the continuous personal innovation it takes to do the job well. He is relentless in his pursuits to perfect tomorrow's lesson. He finds particular joy in seeing students who think they have no interest in literature light up during class. He also started a social justice after school club that he has found particularly rewarding. He considers creating an ongoing classroom culture where students are excited to learn his greatest accomplishment. On motivation, Zach says, teachers are the front lines of tension between, of the tension between two worlds, the world that is and the world that could be. And it is a great joy of mine to join in the training of young minds to read the world in a way that bends towards justice. In this way, teaching English is the place where his deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. I'd like to welcome Zach Terrell to accept his award. Hi, good evening. Uh, some of this is gonna be a repeat of what she just said. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go fast because I know I'll lose it, lose it if I don't. Um, thank you first of all to New York Magazine and to Eric and Emmanuel and Mia and all the other organizers of this wonderful evening. Thank you for this honor. It is truly a privilege to be among those who are being recognized tonight. There are a lot of unsung heroes. Dang it. Um, sorry. There's a lot of unsung heroes that belong here on the stage. If not with me, then instead of me. Um, <clears throat> thank you, first of all, and to my students who are here tonight. My, who, who are here tonight? My eighth graders are here. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And that standing ovation was ridiculous. Um, I'll miss you tremendously next year, eighth graders. You mean the world to me, and you make my job a joy. Thank you to my headmaster, Rim, and my dean of instruction, Tessa, for your enduring support. Thank you to my mom and dad, who are also here tonight. Look, mom, getting a trophy. Um, thank you most of all to my wife, who's also a teacher. Um, we used to teach, actually, we met at the same teaching at the same school uh, scandal. Anyone who knows, <laughs> anyone who knows both of us uh, knows that she's twice the teacher that I'll ever be. Uh, thank you for inspiring me and supporting me and listening to me blabber about my lessons and embarrass myself by reciting poetry in public too often. Um, now, when I'm not with people, I'm with words, papered and screened, penned and keyboarded. It's a long and sometimes tedious, but enjoyable friendship. And so what I try to do in the classroom is simply see to it that this friendship is passed along. It's an important thing to do because, I, uh, because reality takes on a different shape depending on the words we use to describe it. I've heard it said that morality begins with the claims we make about each other. In other words, we care for others to the extent that we care for our words. So we have to learn how to read them, to exercise empathy by becoming a thousand men and yet remaining ourselves, to feel what wretches feel, as Shakespeare says. And we have to learn how to write them, how to order them and reorder them and render the world inhabitable by them. Words are the primary tool that students will use to order their reality which puts reading and writing at the heart of any form of education. But by the same token, language is also the primary tool by which students will change the world. As one author puts it, the revolt against brutality begins with a revolt against the language that hides that brutality. As I see it, as she said, teachers are at the front lines of a tension between two worlds the world that is and the world that could be, and it's a great joy of mine to join in the training of young minds to read and write the world in a way that bends toward justice. I truly have the best job in the world. It really is a dream. Thank you for this incredible honor. I'm very humbled. Thank you. <laughs> 